On May 30, 2020, SpaceX became the first private company to launch humans into orbit. Two NASA astronauts, Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley, went aboard a Crew Dragon capsule and launched from Florida on a trajectory towards the International Space Station. Beyond being the first private company to launch humans into space, the launch marked the first time in nearly a decade that astronauts took flight from American soil on American rockets. What you may not know, though, is that it has not always been rainbows and sunshine for SpaceX. Like most businesses, SpaceX has had their fair share of ups and downs. So how did SpaceX go from being Elon Musk's dream of a greenhouse experiment on Mars to conducting the majority of US rocket launches? Let's find out. As you should already know, SpaceX is the brainchild of Elon Musk, and the story of the company wouldn't be complete without a story of Musk. Born to a model mother and engineer father in Pretoria, South Africa, Musk can be described as your average nerdy kid. He had a voracious appetite for reading, technology and computers. He was often bullied at school and was even pushed down the staircase at some point. His interest in learning became particularly important during such incidents, as they helped him form the basis for his technical disposition. Before turning 13, Musk had started writing computer software. His brother, Kimball Musk, described him as a guy with unlimited ambition. He said, It's not a typical type of ambition. His mind just needs to be constantly fulfilled, and the problems that he takes on, therefore, need to be more and more complex over time in order to keep him interested. Elon was able to find more complex problems to solve in North America, where he had ties to his Canadian-born mother and American grandparents. He earned degrees in physics and economics from the University of Pennsylvania, and this paved way for him to pursue graduate school at Stanford. While you may think that Musk had it all figured out, he left Stanford barely two days after to pursue his entrepreneurial dreams. His mind was dominated by his business ideas, and his first major business venture as an adult was Zip2. Zip2 was an online directory founded in 1995, it included maps, which were a major upgrade considering the fact that digital directions did not become big until smartphones came along more than a decade later. The company was able to score a deal to develop online city guides for the New York Times, and it's reported that Compaq Computer purchased Zip2 for $300 million in 1999. After selling Zip2 in 1999, Musk co-founded X.com in the same year. X.com was one of the first online financial services companies, and after a series of mergers and transitions, the company was renamed into what is now known as PayPal. In 2002, PayPal was acquired by eBay for $1.5 billion, and Musk made about $160 million from the deal. This gave him the leverage to personally invest in his long-forming dream of starting space exploration technologies. To kick off his spaceflight ambitions of primarily taking payloads and humans to Mars, Musk attempted to buy refurbished Russian ballistic missiles. Working with the Russians was not easy, and he also discovered that doing this will cost a lot of money. Speaking at the 2018 South by Southwest conference in Texas, Musk said, After my second or third trip back from Russia, I was like, whoa, there's got to be a better way to solve this rocket problem. So we embarked on that journey to create SpaceX in 2002. Musk was aware that he was venturing into a high-risk industry. Imagine going from building electric cars to building rockets for space missions. In comparison, this is like an auto mechanic who decides to start building airplanes. Musk knew what he was in for and he didn't allow even his friends to invest in this particular idea. In his own words, in the beginning, I actually wouldn't even let my friends invest because everyone would lose their money. I thought I'd rather lose my own money. True to the beliefs of Musk, SpaceX was not an overnight success. The early years of the company revealed an idea that teetered on the edge of dying out. Over the years, Musk has been quite clear that NASA saved SpaceX. After three unsuccessful attempts to reach orbit with its Falcon 1, his team had to scrounge together enough parts for a fourth rocket launch, which became a success. In between, after his third failed attempt, SpaceX was strapped for cash and was in its last days. However, two days before Christmas in 2008, NASA announced that SpaceX had been awarded a $1.6 billion contract to fly supplies to the International Space Station. The program is now known as Commercial Resupply Services.
Since 2012, it's been one win after another for SpaceX. The company has flown Dragon to the ISS 20 times on newer Falcon 9 rockets, and its Crew Dragon capsule has flown to the station twice. SpaceX has also staged coup after coup. In 2007, it acquired the rights to lease Cape Canaveral Air Force Station's Launch Complex 40. Dale Ketchum, Space Florida Vice President of Government and External Relations, describing Musk said, He was most impressive in cobbling together what was needed for a successful launch site with scraps and whatever was available. Some of his most impressive achievements were based on his ability to make stuff happen by using what was available and using simple physics to get done what needed to get done. That was contrary to how things had been done up until that point. And aside from Musk's vision to colonize Mars, one of his primary goals is reusability. This has been a major win for SpaceX. Musk believes that rockets can and should be reused. After all, an airline doesn't throw away a Boeing 747 after each flight. Do you know that more than 50 SpaceX boosters have flown back to Earth? Some are refurbished for future flights. Right from inception, Musk was convinced that he could bring down the cost of access to space, and their current pricing supports his belief in employing reusability to bring down the cost of flying people and cargo to orbit. While a typical Falcon 9 launch costs 50 to 60 million dollars, other orbital vehicles in the same class cost way more. Furthermore, with Starlink, SpaceX is building the revenue streams needed to fund Musk's desire of building vehicles that are capable of going to Mars. Starlink is SpaceX's constellation of low-orbit satellites that beam internet connectivity to the ground. While Musk has always been at the forefront of all his businesses, key contributors like now President and COO Gwynne Shotwell and investors like the members of the Founders Fund help forge SpaceX into the brand that it is today. Since its first successful attempt in 2008, the company has won billions of dollars in NASA and Air Force launch contracts. SpaceX is also involved in carrying payloads for private companies. Today, SpaceX is valued at over $40 billion and has around 8,000 employees around the country. The company is launching rapidly, with a backlog of orders for its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. And on May 30th, 2020, it became the first private company to launch humans into orbit. What you may not know about the successful launched dubbed Demo-2 is that it is a final demonstration mission in the human rating process of SpaceX's Crew Dragon and Falcon 9. This means that once this mission is complete, the launch vehicle will become certified for operational use for the regular transportation of people to space. If you are a regular on this channel, you should already know that this video will not be complete without drawing some lessons from the life of Musk and how he started SpaceX. So in closing, here are three very important lessons that I feel every entrepreneur should learn from SpaceX. 1. Go outside your comfort zone. Think about it, Tesla is already a success story and most people will be comfortable with that level of success. Yes, we know that Elon Musk has a thing for solving complex problems, but you must understand that most outstanding success stories are not forged in comfort zones. Musk is not just the face of SpaceX, he is its founder, CEO, lead designer and central motivation. Because of his relentless ambition backed by confidence and hard work, he is able to demand the most from his employees. Dolly Singh, the former head of talent acquisition at SpaceX, puts it perfectly. Musk pushes himself harder and harder, and he pushes others around him the exact same way. So if you work for Elon, you have to accept the discomfort. But in that discomfort is the kind of growth you can't get anywhere else, and worth every ounce of blood and sweat. 2. Dream big. Elon Musk is a big dreamer, and every entrepreneur should dream big. After all, dreams are free. And don't just dream big. Back up your big dreams with big actions. Imagine if no one did the hard things. Imagine if the Wright brothers listened to the naysayers. Imagine where your current business would be if you woke up one morning and decided the business was just too hard. Everyone around you, including me, is counting on you to do the hard things that will bring that idea to life. Even though Musk expected SpaceX and Tesla to fail, he still tried. His disbelief did not stop him from trying. So what's your excuse? According to Elon Musk, this is the culmination of a dream. This is a dream come true. In fact, it feels surreal. 
If you'd asked me when starting SpaceX if this would happen, I'd be like, 1% chance, 0.1% chance. Musk still has a lot of unaccomplished goals like converting automobiles, households, and many industries from fossil fuels to sustainable energy, implementing a new form of high-speed transportation via vacuum tube, and saving humanity from future threats of artificial intelligence. However, with no prior experience, he entered two industries with very high barriers to entry and conquered them. 3. Focus on what matters Although it may not seem like it at first glance, SpaceX is actually building capacity for space travel. It's possible that you might be able to visit Mars as a tourist in the next few years. As a business person myself, I know from experience that it is very easy to get distracted and focus on less important stuff. It could be in marketing when in reality your product needs some serious upgrade. Overcoming challenges requires a relentless focus on what truly matters. For Musk and SpaceX, I think the most important thing here is delivering astronauts safely to the International Space Station. For you, I think the most important thing is figuring out how to best satisfy your customers and community. And if you are unable to satisfy your customers, then nothing else matters. I bet you enjoyed this video. Have you learned a lesson or two? Tell us what you think in the comments section below.